Well, this is the time of year when a lot of folks are getting excited to get themselves in shape. Certainly a good intention, but for some it goes way too far when it comes to their diet. Michelle Roberts explains a growing phenomenon called orthorexia. Chicken and vegetables at work? Mm hmm Okay, good. Yeah. What does clients eat? Okay. okay, let's go, let's go. Is just as important to personal trainer Bron Volney as their workout. You gotta have a healthy diet. Are you looking for warning signs of people who are going too extreme? Yeah, and if they're dropping really fast, you gotta question and say, hey, you know, let's make sure you're, you're staying healthy. Staying healthy means a balanced diet, but a growing number of people are eliminating entire food groups, seeing only negative qualities in things like dairy, eggs, meats, grains, and fats, all gone until there's nothing left but fruits and vegetables. Taken to the extreme is now treated as an eating disorder and it's called orthorexia. What it essentially means is that someone is obsessed with eating only healthy or foods that they consider to be pure. Jen Colbert, a registered dietitian at Boston University, says our bodies need nutrients from so-called bad foods. Fat helps us to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. Um, it also helps us to absorb um, all of the phytochemicals that are in fruits and vegetables. Whole grains have been shown to be heart healthy. Dairy is a great source of protein and a great source of calcium and vitamin D. So-called orthorexics start with a good motive, eat right and stay in shape, but their actions could have the opposite effect. So at first I was really extreme about it. Caitlin Byrne works with Braun, and we do mean work. You get burn? To achieve a balanced approach to exercising and to eating. It's hard because you have to, you just kind of have to train yourself to eat well. It's not, it was hard for me. Goal of perfection almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not a, not a reality? No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's not fun. It can be dangerous if you're going too far with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Yep. And Colbert says the warning signs are not hard to spot. When you're no longer able to enjoy any of the foods that you once did, and you're no longer able to participate in a family meal, or, you know, going out with a friend. Michelle Roberts, WBZ News. Now, unlike other eating disorders, orthorexia is just as common in men as it is in women.